the desert is wet 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 good morning good morning what are you doing <laughs> i'm brushing my feet because i need to get into the tent and my slops are still wet and they're full of sand i collected sand as i walked back from the block so now i'm just <coughs> getting rid of the sand i've done the other one well and then i can get into the tent <laughs> what a clever idea yeah. <laughs> well it's a beautiful day again today in the Khalakhadi here at Mata Mata and despite us being told oh this is such a shady site the sun is coming up directly over our site so uh, we're a little bit in the sun but we're big and we're strong and we had a glass of wine last night so everything is okay right i have to tell you this because it's fantastic i know if you have watched our garden root um, videos you would have seen the jackery just make an appearance once quickly but we've got him here again old jack and Jack was running the fridge last night, all night long. So, so fantastic. Only took 22 watts the whole entire night to run the fridge. It was probably running for about mm, 12 hours. Oh, sorry. I'm talking absolute twaddle. <laughs> it wasn't watts. It was percentage. Because if you press this blade, there, it's 72%. It was 94%. But it's fantastic. We don't need to charge it today. You know, I'm not an agent for Jackery. I'm just saying it's fantastic. So, you know, if you ever think about, you know, getting a dual battery or something, you don't have to fiddle with wires and stuff in your bucky. Just get the Jackery and put it somewhere. Hmm. Fantastic. There, it's fantastic. I love my toy. <laughs> well, it's not really a toy, but I love it in any case. <laughs> yeah, well then you better go put it away okay. inside yeah. so we can make coffee here. Yeah. Suzanne may be loving her toy, but I am getting a little <laughs> parched here. I'm wanting my morning coffee and rusk. I'm getting thin around the middle here. So... Uh, <laughs> Are you back? Are we going to get coffee now? Yes, we're doing coffee now. Great. Okay. Now I'll switch the camera off and we'll see you. We're going to do a bit of a drive today. But oh, we're taking a very relaxed day today. So we'll just do a drive around a couple of water holes and see what there is to see around here. But it's just a lazy, lovely morning. So I'm going to have coffee now. So bye-bye. During our morning coffee, this little ground squirrel entertained us with her rather frantic at times morning ablutions. So we're out again and now we're just outside camp dropping into the little riverbed the camp sits in the riverbed actually like mm, further down that away it's around the corner and we've ordered ourselves some homemade rooster cook from the office there apparently the local ladies that um, are on staff make some so that's going to be nice tonight. Yeah, we can just do our sausage and then we can have got um, our little bunny bready things. Yes. Oh, so let's see. 
if we're going to be excited today again. Oh, I think so. Here we are. Two pearl chanting goshawks. It appear. Appear. <laughs> appear. <laughs> Try that again. Appear to have killed another bird and now they're eating it because it's just like feathers everywhere just below them all just feathers everywhere yeah you can see the one at the back there picking at that and you can see a little foot a tiny foot. oh I see. see yes yes it's definitely another bird that they killed so the morning hasn't been super productive in terms of sightings and now we've decided to take the crossroad that links the two riverbeds together the Alp to the Norsop so now we we're driving in the direction of the Norsop riverbed again sure what a drive that was nice did you enjoy driving? I enjoyed driving. It kept me awake today with up and down, up and down, round, round. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Lunch is done and we drove a little way up the Norsop riverbed in the direction of the Norsop camp. But the road is really very corrugated and there's not many animals out. And the weather is turning so it's almost as if they sense there might be a storm approaching and every now and again there's such a large thunder drop that falls on the windscreen so we hope it doesn't start to rain because our tent is completely open it's just the mesh that's closed then we're going to have a pool when we get back oh, and our beds would have turned into lilos <laughs> yes Ugh, yeah, anyway, so we have to take the same road across back to the Mata Mata um, road. So we don't expect to see very ma much different than what we came. So, barring any fantastic sightings, we'll see you back in Mata Mata. We're back. So obviously there was nothing earth shattering to see on the way back. But now it's raining again. <laughs> but it's not very hard. Hear the rain. Will Tom? Oh, Alan. please come to visit. Hello, Mrs. Squirrel. What are you doing? How's the afternoon treating you? Oh, she doesn't even want to talk to oh, me. She it's says, don't even talk to me. Perhaps more. And, um, yes. Then we're gonna get our rooster cookies later on. Uh, from the local people. It's about what? 25 minutes still. Yeah. Then we've got to go up to the shop and get that. And then it will be supper time. Oh. Hmm. Well, this is one turn up of, for the books. Just check it, it pouring in the Kalahari. It is literally sozzling. It is raining so hard. And we have to try to get our rooster cookies that we ordered. Suzanne tried to get into the shop and everybody has been caught unawares because it just came out of nowhere and it's just pouring. The desert is wet, 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 wet. Don't know. Yo, I don't know if this is picking it up, but there's literally a river running down the road now. It is just pouring. And you can't even see the campsite at the bottom anymore. Those people there are going to be totally, totally flooded. Oh dear, I think uh, we are going to flood here as well. 
everything's rushing onto this site that where we are now. We could try to save our clothes. Yes. We're just trying to save our bags because the tent is leaking like a sieve and this thunderstorm is just keep on, it just keeps going. And Lindsay's going to be sopping wet and my Bucky's seat is sopping wet already where she keeps on coming in with the wet stuff. But we're going to have to open this thing up when the sun comes out and dry us out. I never thought it could rain like this. Here we go, here we go. Two. Here we go, here we go, last one. Sorry. It's okay. I'm trying my best. But okay, I'll just dry you off because ugh, this our little thing doesn't work. Is there a towel somewhere inside one of the bags? No, I don't think my towel is outside I'll just my take bag. it off and chuck it down on the in the footwell. Because like my whole backside is now wet, so your whole seat is sodden oh, here. We'll just have to and dry the door and Alice. I know the seat is wet. Oh. We'll just um have to just open the doors when the sun comes out and dry everything off. Well so far I can't really see what's going on in the tent. I just grabbed stuff. So I don't know if it's wet or if it's dry, but the bags seem to be dry. Okay, so whew, what an end to a day and now we don't have supper. Oh. Because our rooster cook was not ready. Or oh, what's this? Who's this? Oh yeah. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the rooster cook. Thank you very much. Thank you. He just in his arm, but he didn't have a shirt on. He just had a red coat over it. Uh, well, it's sure. nice and warm. <laughs> Shame, yo, Shame, now yo. He's, he was now the one sent. To run, yes, to run. in this yo. rain. Oh, man. Well, he said it's on no oppo, he says. So, I don't know if he's... It's right. Okay, well, um, there we go. Action, action, action here in the Kalahari. <laughs> has sort of stopped sort of and now we have to um, make supper light like this there we go now Suzanne's got the rooster cookies um, and we managed to get hold of the butter and some marmite and there's some jam somewhere in this car <laughs> and um, now we're going to try and eat these things while there's a thunderstorm raging outside. Yeah, you know, there's lightning all around us. And I'm like, everybody else is just walking around as if there's nothing wrong. But lightning can literally, it can, doesn't have to strike you. If it just strikes the ground near you, you can die. Yes. So we're erring on the side of caution. And we're sitting in the vehicle because... Unlike other people around here, seemingly, they don't realize that a vehicle creates a Faraday cage and you're safe inside it because it's metal everywhere, you know, and um, everybody's knocking about under m metal pole gazebos them? and in metal umbrellas. pole tents and they've got umbrellas, yes, it's like crazy oh, out here. They're walking around with umbrellas, I mean, in a thunderstorm, now. you know, so um, that's why we're in here. And we just hope that nobody else gets struck out there. Yeah, because it was moving away and now it's moving closer again. So I don't know if there's two storms or three storms. I don't know. It's just, you know. Oh, I'm just waiting for it to start snowing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. That will now be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so Suzanne's making supper, she's in the kitchen, and uh, I'm trying to do a bit of filming of her um, escapades over here. Ma's in the back seat, she's the light. Uh, okay, who wants Marmite? I want who wants jam. jam? I want jam. You want jam? Oh, I think we all need something sweet now something for, the, for the fright. Okay. And out there, big jam. Yeah, out there, there is lightning every so often. It's as if we, we thunderstorms are surrounding us. And I thought this was the flipping desert. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know. That's why I say I'm expecting snow next. Okay, so we're going to try and eat. And I don't know if we're even going to be able to get into the tent tonight to sleep. So, yeah, well, here we go. Yeah. 
We'll keep you updated. <laughs> Yo. Okay, bye. Ah, <sighs> survived the night. <laughs> wow, was it rainy and thundery and wet and rightly miserable actually. Mm. But this morning the sun is back out again and the things are starting to dry off. And at least we can have breakfast, even though we didn't have proper supper. Yeah, um, strawberry oats are easy. Woohoo! Yes. yes. Something nice and, yeah. you know, substantial, sort of glues your insides together. Yeah. Yes, and then we'll be off later. I think just waiting for everything just to dry off a little bit in the sun. And then, um, yeah, we'll see all the. Okay, the shoes didn't get wet, they just there to get out of the way. Um, on the table. Yes, <laughs> yes, very civilized. Mm -hmm. See, the sun is out. Oh, look there, lovely. Okay. And uh, there was a river coming past the back of the tent, but it's all dry this morning. So I guess we will see you on the way to Tweerafirin again today. I just spotted this giant millipede. Now, there's my finger, so you can see he's probably like twice as long as my finger and as thick as my thumb. So. Hello! Okay, so that's sighting number one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, when you get desperate, you know. There's water on the road, it might be a difficult drive out today. But we, at least we got everything packed up. Don't ask how wet and sandy it is. But it's packed. And now we've got to make our way down towards Tuerefirin again. Yeah, yesterday there weren't very good sightings. And we figured it's because the animals knew what was coming. And <laughs> the rain just dumped on us humans. So we'll Ooh, see. Look at, that. look at this puddle. It's in the river bed, actually. That's why there's such a huge puddle here. There we go. At least it's not a Mokala. Yes. <laughs> yo, 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 at least the roads are like pure sand. There, it's like clay and mud. Yes. Oh well, so we'll continue on down and uh, hopefully we will see you in a dry Tweerefirin. Oh look, here's a little yuckle see. Yeah, in the a road. A jackal. In the road. I don't know if you can see him, but he's standing in the road, just sniffing the air. Here, Here he comes. comes. He's just gonna trot by. Is yeah, he? You know. There he is. Where is he? Hello. Oh, you thin, eh? Hmm. Think you need some breakfast? Oh. You'll eat one of your Smarties. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you're not gonna give them away? <laughs> no. I don't shame my Smarties. And here is the statue of the Gemsbokke outside reception. 
quite an iconic statue and there is Hamilton how fantastic okay so now we just have to go to the campsite and pick a spot and shack up okay so we're all shacked up um, and it's a bit windy so I hope you can hear what I'm saying but yeah the weather looks okay I don't think we'll rain wet again tonight um, but we'll see oh. yeah. sand in my eye um, we'll see I don't know if a fire will work because it's very windy it's very windy um, but yeah, we'll see what happens and then tomorrow we will be moving on so we will then see you further down the road Bye.